that have been overdue since the start of the event. Um, due to resources being um, overwhelmed, yesterday we weren't able to start SAR operations. So today the, the idea was that the first, you know, first available resources we start the rescue. Um, we had a forward team come out and they had uh, established the rescue site and had found the victims. And then we brought resources out to one of the rescue themselves. Talk about this whole experience, this whole scenario itself. You're not just working with the people you normally work with. You've got uh, several different agencies working. Correct. Um, a lot of times when we perform um, <laughs> rescues in Alaska, it's very resource dependent. We use a lot of uh, multi-agency resources to accomplish the mission at hand. Um, for this evolution, we utilized um, the National Guard's track vehicles and the Alaska State Troopers with their helicopter assets. And then we also ran it through the sergeant of the B detachment um, as kind of our overseer as, as the troopers have uh, responsibility for search and rescue in the state of Alaska. And talk about the importance of being able to work with those, those different agencies as, as practice, obviously. Normally, it's probably not the case. Well, actually, normally it is. We, we work really well with the state troopers to coordinate um, rescue efforts in the area of Valdez because we have so much um, mountainous terrain in our city limits. And uh, we coordinate um, most of our rescue efforts with them um, on you know, real-time events because not, it's very seldom that just one agency has all the necessary resources to perform a rescue in its entirety. What about on the federal level? Obviously? That's new to us. Um, we have utilized um, in real-time rescues. Um, if we have that request and we route the request for federal assets uh, during, you know, sending out a large-scale event like the, what we've been doing with Alaska Shield, but um, we have used federal assets in the past, um, air guard assets and things like that to get into areas. Um, they have, you know, helicopters just capabilities that we don't have available to us in Valdez, and we're able to coordinate that as well from here. Are events like this beneficial for you guys? Oh, absolutely. It helps us. Uh, you know, work through the command and control structure, the routing of resources, you know, the technical on the ground, things we can practice every day, but these events really help us coordinate with that incident command and the, the structure of uh, resource allocation.